Hi guys, I'm in a minivan camper and I wanna show you how I built the bed and hopefully this can give you some ideas if you're looking to do a conversion yourself. So first things first was this minivan has um, an uneven base at the bottom of the van. And so once I removed all of the, the back seats to the van, um, the base of the van was at three separate levels. So the first thing I did was I got into the van when there was no seats in there and uh, I started measuring out to see kind of what the difference of the, the levels would be so that I would know how tall to make each of the legs of the bed. And so I did some measurements and I kind of decided how tall the legs would be. At first I was thinking I would use two by fours for the legs and so I went to Home Depot, grabbed a two by four and got them to cut it. But then what happened was I realized I probably wanted actually uh, four by fours to make the bed a little bit more sturdy. But the issue then was that it was COVID and everything shut down. And so um, the store shut down, like this was back in March when everything shut down. And so um, what happened was I had to then order my materials online and go pick them up at the store. But all I had was this minivan and it wasn't really big enough to carry uh, the plywood that I needed to get for the top of the bed. So it's essentially four by fours with plywood and then in one area there had to be two by fours because of how the uh, spare tire is stored. So anyways, I went to Home Depot, I grabbed this stuff and I actually put the plywood on the roof of the van and my dad was with me and we kind of tied a rope around the plywood in the van and then my dad kind of had his arm out to like stabilize it on the roof while I drove and I just drove super slowly to go back to my parents' place and then um, my, my neighbors there at my parents' place have... Um, the tools needed to be able to actually cut the wood. So basically we used a 4x4, a 2x4, and a piece of plywood. And then I measured out, I wanted to have part of the bed be able to raise. So because of the way that the van is made in the trunk, I wouldn't be able to actually access things back here unless this actually was able to raise. And so um, I made sure that the plywood used for the bed would actually be slit here and have hinges so that I'd be able to raise the back of the bed. So I did the measurements for that and my neighbor cut the wood. Uh, we made sure that the legs all fit well at the different base levels of the van. And then once the wood was cut, I sanded it and then I painted on some Varathane and this is a water resistant substance to make sure that the wood wouldn't get moldy. And then I measured out exactly where the legs of the bed would go and then where they would need to be drilled into the plywood. So I actually took a pencil and just kind of drew an outline of where it would be drilled because we'd have to take out all the legs in the plywood and do the drilling um, in the garage. And then my dad has his drill so he drilled it for me. And because the base of the van is all uneven and the legs of the bed need to be different heights, we just found some stuff to prop up the small legs so that everything would be level for us to drill. And then we put it all back into the van. I tested everything out and I saw that it kind of drooped a bit lower at the back. So I just put some felt strips onto the legs of the back of the bed and that made it all be more level. But the issue with having plywood as the top of the bed is that there's nothing for airflow. So you know when you normally have a bed, it's got kind of wooden slats so that um, you've got airflow coming. And this is so that the wood doesn't mold because we actually sweat in our sleep and so it wets the mattress. It's kind of gross. So you need to have something for airflow so that the wood doesn't mold. So what I decided to do was get this um, piece down here that this is made specifically for airflow so it's used in a lot of um, houseboats and basically things that have like just plywood as the bed some rvs have this too and what this allows to do is it's so that the mattress isn't completely sitting on the plywood itself there's something in between to allow for some airflow so that the wood doesn't mold so i cut that to make sure that it fit the bed itself 
Um, the bed is actually the size of a single bed and so I was able to get a mattress from Ikea that was just for a single bed and it fit it perfectly. So I got that mattress and then I slept on it the first night. You'll see my video that I'm posting on my first time sleeping in the bed and it was actually kind of uncomfortable because with it just being um, plywood and then a firm mattress on top it was like rock solid and it was just way too stiff to be sleeping on so I actually got a little uh, foam top and that makes it really comfortable and still firm I do prefer having like a firmer mattress to sleep on so that was great and I think that's about it then I just used um, a fitted sheet for single bed I'm actually using a sleeping bag that's in here so this is a duvet cover it was actually a duvet cover for a double size bed but I just sewed the outsides to make it fit for a single but there's actually inside um, a sleeping bag and then I just got a separate kind of cheap uh, comforter to go on top and then if ever I'm too cold with all of this I also have a winter sleeping bag which is perfect for sleeping in colder temperatures too. So that's how I made the bed for this minivan camper. I hope it helps you guys if you're thinking of doing a similar project. Please let me know if you have any questions down in the comments and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you haven't already so you get to see all the videos in this van life series and I'll see you next time. Thanks so much for being here and may you be happy, healthy, and free. Bye!